everyone, my name is Danielle and I'm going to talk about my favorites from January 2017. And the first thing I'd like to talk about is for some reason I have lived under a rock for 15 to 18 months because I have recently become obsessed with the musical Hamilton. I don't know how I avoided it, I don't know why I stayed away from it. I guess I just knew in my heart that I was going to obsess with it. So I started listening to it on YouTube, was like, what is this? Where have I been for the last year and a half? And decided that I needed to possess it. So this has become my life. I'm in love with it. I need it. I listen to it almost every day or have listened to it almost every day for the, for the past, I don't know, three and a half weeks straight. Um, it has like changed my life. I am now like pl platonically in love with Lin-Manuel Miranda. Lin-Manuel Miranda is brilliant. I think it's a great story. Uh, the rap stuff is great. I love that it's rap and hip hop and it's different from musical theater. Um, musical theater has always been super, super special to me, but I kind of stay away from it every now and then because it's like the unobtainable. Um, I really, really would love to go see the show, but it's hella expensive to get tickets, but Hamilton was like my number one favorite from January. That also leads me into Moana, which I saw that in November, but um, Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote the music for Moana as well, so I've been listening to Hamilton and Moana back and forth. I am just obsessed. Like it's consuming my everyday waking life. It's ridiculous. So my favorite movie that I saw in January was Hidden Figures. Um, it was great. It blew my mind. I was like, holy hell, I cannot believe that these incredible women did the things that they did for the space program. I really want to read the book now, so I might do that in the future, but the movie blew my mind. I absolutely was in awe. I walked out of the theater with my mom and my nana just going, oh my god, why didn't I know about this? And why the hell don't they teach us these things in school. I was just mind blown by everything about it. It was a great story. I fell in love with the characters. I was rooting for them. I was sad for them. It was just an overall fabulous experience. My favorite TV shows for the month of January um, were a series of unfortunate events on Netflix and then Yuri on Ice. The dubbed version recently just came out and I binge watched the entire thing in like less than 24 hours. Granted, it's only like six hours long, but um, so I'm going to start with A Series of Unfortunate Events. So A Series of Unfortunate Events on Netflix blew my mind. I read the books as a kid, um, was really excited when the movie came out when I was a kid, and then the movie kind of was like, meh. Um, so I was really scared when they were like, we're making a Netflix show, show, but I binge watched it with my mom and it was fabulous. I loved it. I loved the way they set up everything. It was great. Patrick Warburton as Lemony Snicket. <laughs> Normally everyone's just like he's Kronk or he's Joe from Family Guy. So I was just really in awe of the actors in the show and the overall way it was put together. Um, Neil Patrick Harris is Count Olaf. Oh my god! That man was fabulous. I know he is fabulous in general, but his performance in the show is just mind-blowing. He transforms into every character. Count Olaf is creepy and funny and weird and it was just Ugh. Then moving on to Yuri on Ice, which is an a ice skating anime. What? Um, sports anime I kind of avoid because it's such a weird fan base. I watched um, Iwa Free Iwatobi Swim Club. That blew my mind. I fell in love with that. And then Yuri on Ice was something I was kind of also avoiding because I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. I fell in love with it. I thought it was great. I thought the story was awesome. The characters are cool. It's got a good story arc. And I'm just like, where is season two? Where is season two? It blew my mind. I loved the relationship between Victor and Yuri and it was great and it's all dudes and it was fabulous. There was a couple times I was absolutely weirded out, not gonna lie. And then there was times where I was just like wanting to cry. Um, so yes. And then my favorite, I really don't have any favorite makeup or anything this month. I didn't really get anything new. Um, but my favorite accessory right now is this lovely knitted blue beanie that was made by a family friend of and by made by a family friend, and I am in love with it. I wear it a lot. I even had, yeah, 
I just, it's, I don't know. I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge fan of like wearing beanies, but as a fashion accessory, but I'm just in love with this hat. It's just, it's super cute and I don't know. I'm just in love with it. I just wanna, wanna snuggle it as it snuggles my, my beautiful head here. So a lot of things that I just wanted to share with you guys. So listen to Hamilton, it's great. Um, see Moana and listen to the soundtrack, it's fabulous. If you haven't seen Hidden Figures, you should go see Hidden Figures. Um, if you have Netflix, watch Series of Unfortunate Events. And if you're curious about Yuri and I's, I take a look about take a look at that as well. Um, also, this is just just I'm in love with this painting. You have no idea. It's life right now. Um, feel free to check out my social media. It'll be in the description below. Also, check out some other videos that I've done and my other channel if you would like. Otherwise, I will see you guys later. Bye.